Like we talked about the pack of wolves mentality. Um, I'm not sure if you had it last week against Cornell, but how important is it going to be to get some traffic in front of the Penn State goaltender on Saturday? Yeah, it's going to be huge. You know, uh, there are a lot of good things about him, and obviously he's one of the top goaltenders out there. So, um, yeah, we're, we're always going to have to get a lot of bodies to the to the net. And like you said, we haven't really been doing that lately. So uh, that's something that, you know, we've been stressing and trying to practice. And, you know, that's uh, obviously one of our staples and one of the things that, you know, we pride ourselves on. So we need to get back to that if we want to be successful out there. What was the thinking when you guys saw your name called and the teams that you were with, obviously number one overall, number one overall seed, long road trip, what were the thoughts going through your head when you were watching the selection show? I'll ask both of you. Um, we kind of expected that. We like saw that Penn State was you know, the night we were in, so we figured we were going to play them. We just didn't know where. And then like, kind of going through all the scenarios, we knew we were kind of going to go out west in Fargo or Cincinnati. So I think uh, Cincinnati is a better bet. You know, Fargo looks like pretty tough, tough regional rises as well. So it's it's no easy road. They're all good teams, all 16 of them. So um, yeah, we were kind of expecting that. So now we're just preparing. Yeah, and I think a lot of the guys are excited to be in uh, Cincy. I think the guys are happy we get to take a flight. The guys are pretty excited about that. It's nice that uh, we're not playing North Dakota at home. But I mean, any team in this tournament's good, and we're just happy to be in the tournament right now. And looking forward to getting to Cincy. You guys were two of the players who were there the first time around last time you were there when you won it all. What are you saying to a majority of the team who haven't been to the NCAA tournament yet? I, mean, I think the biggest part is to just stay away from the distractions. I mean, there's going to be a lot of cameras, a lot of interviews, but I mean, you just got to focus on playing hockey. It's just another game, just a hockey game. Just focus on that. Yeah, you know what Jeff was saying. Uh, obviously, a lot of distractions. You got to take one game at a time. Uh, it's obviously, you want it done, but. Uh, it's just not a thing. It's going to take all four lines, and we got to play full 60 minutes out there, which we haven't really been doing lately. So, um, just the little things like that, you know, the willingness to sacrifice, and uh, you know, just keep it simple out there. It's just the stuff that we've been trying to pride ourselves on, and you know, stress all year. It's got to come down to, you know, that willingness to do all those little things and be successful. I think so. Rick said on Sunday that after having watched the Cornell tape, that. It wasn't as bad as it looked after you guys have seen it. Do you, would you say that's fair to say, and what can you kind of pick out of that that will be useful uh, next week? Yeah, I mean, we watched it, the whole thing, yesterday, and, I mean, it, was, it wasn't was great by any means. We didn't get that much offense going. It was, I feel like we played a lot on our heels that game, and we never took the, the play to them at all during the whole game, and that's, that's a lot of our hockey. We're an aggressive team, fast team, and we just clearly didn't do that, and we saw the outcome. You feel like you match up a little better against Penn State, and, and I don't know how much you guys know about them. You haven't seen them all year, and, um, but from what Rick said, they're kind of a fast team. You almost compare them to Princeton a little bit. The, you match up a little better against a team like that than perhaps a team like Cornell. Uh, yeah, I think you say that. We obviously struggle with Cornell. You know, going a two and one against them, and you know, the bigger teams gave us some more difficulty. So, you know, maybe faster, more skilled Penn State team, kind of like Princeton, I guess, will uh, you know, suit us a little better. But um, yeah, we recently go through, you know, just kind of report on them and, you know, start, more, start with preparing more for them. I uh, haven't really seen much film yet. Uh, so yeah, I mean, hopefully we uh, match up a little better against them and have a better outcome, but it's going to be down to, you know, if we prepare and execute. Speaking of preparation, what do you guys work on in practice this week, and is it any different than your the approach last week? Uh, I don't think it's that At much all. different. I mean, we're just we're trying to just focus on us. I mean, if we play our game, we think we can beat any team in the country. So just trying to focus on what we do good and trying to clean up some of the areas that we saw on Friday that weren't great. Some of your memories from 2014 and just how you guys approached it and. I mean, that was really fresh territory for you guys, and uh, you know, kind of what, what memories stick out from that year? Um, I think Jeff said it really good. We just approached it one game at a time, and we didn't get involved with all the hype and all the cameras and everything. We just you know, focused on ourselves, and um, yeah, it, it didn't seem like that big of a deal for us. You know, it, it was our first year. We, we were just like kind of happy to be there, but at the same time, we were ready to go out there and battle. And, you know, our class went really good with 
know, having that experience, being there plenty of times before, and you know, just having that calmness, I think that's something that you know, we, we got to tell our younger guys just to go in there with a good mentality and you know, just not get distracted and you know, just be able to focus on the game and the task at hand. You, you had mentioned being more aggressive and, and playing a full 60 minutes. How important is that to start the game that way and, and to not try and play catch up now that, that your season's really on the line? I thought we had it against Cornell. You know, the first five were really good. We had a couple great A scoring changes, just didn't bury and execute. But then we took a bad penalty and kind of sprout from there. We killed it off, but, you know, we didn't bounce back and not have that push that we did the first five. So uh, obviously that's been one of our struggles for the second half, and we've been trying to figure out a solution to that. But, yeah, I thought for the most part at Cornell we did do that. We just hit the score, and if you know, we score one of those two great A's, we might have a different outcome, and it would be a whole different story. But uh, it's obviously something that we're going to keep pounding on and find a solution to. Uh, Jeff, Mike's something interesting how you know you guys are both freshmen, and you just are in the NCAA tournament your first year. You didn't really know anything else. but. Looking at it now and how hard it is to actually make it. I mean, you look at the basketball tournament. Some, if you have a certain name, you get in every year. But it's different in hockey. So, can you reflect on how special this tournament is and how unique it is to actually get a bit? Yeah, I mean, I think my freshman year I definitely took it for granted. I thought this was going to be a four-year thing, and clearly it wasn't. Our sophomore, junior year were tough, and it just makes it that much more sweet to be in the tournament and to just want to win it. Like you just want it that much more, knowing that. It's your last chance, and these chances really don't happen every year. And I think that's just something we got to get across to the guys that really got to take advantage when you are in the tournament. Because, I mean, any team can win at this point. Uh, Mike, how dangerous could a team like Penn State be when, you know, they're not really known to the hockey world a ton just yet, and this is their first time in the NCAA tournament? Maybe it's a team that feels like they don't have anything to lose at this point. Um, yeah, they're extremely dangerous. We played them freshman year when they're fresh out of club hockey, and you know, we, we snuck out of there with two wins. You know, it wasn't easy. They were a really good team, and uh, we were down both games. So it's back then it was hard. Now, you know, they've progressed to uh, a number one team in the country, and obviously making the NCAA tournament for the first time. They're a good team. And, you know, you've seen it the past five years how much they've progressed. So, you know, we're definitely not going to overlook them. Uh, they're obviously highly skilled, highly <coughs> coached team, and um, it's it's always going to be tough. We said before, all 16 teams are good, so yeah, you, you can't take this for granted. And, you know, it's it's going to be a battle, so um, we're going to need everybody in a full 60. And I think we'll get the job done if we just take care of that next game. Sean, you got last one. Yeah, but guys, either one. Has there been any message this week? I mean, obviously, making the tournament is a big deal, but I would think you wouldn't want to be a team just being content being there, as Jeff just said, you want to win it. Is, is that something you're passing on to some of the other classes that haven't experienced this yet? Yeah, we, we kind of harped on that after the point all loss. It just felt like we happened to be there. Like Jeff said, we weren't really pushing the pace or, you know, taking it to them. We were kind of sitting back on our heels. And uh, after that loss, we, we kind of felt like we were just happy to be there. And everybody was taking it and enjoying Lake Boston, but, you know, we didn't take care of business. So, um, yeah. I think that loss is going to definitely help us with that aspect of it. You know, and Jeff said, it, you know, we want to go there and win. So um, it, it's one game at a time, and uh, you know, it's 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 obviously going to be tough. But I think that if if we're going to play our our union hockey and you know take care of business, which has been pretty good for the most part this week in practice, we'll uh, have a more favorable outcome than we did up in Lake Placid. Great. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you.